Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard. So in this episode, we're going through some ring domination and we got a brand new quest. So let's get right into it, guys. Alrighty, guys. We got some more Supercard this week. We got ring domination. Finally getting that Ricochet Pro coming to you very soon. But before we get into that, I'm actually going to up... I'm going to energize my people in my peeps my superstars in kink of the rink here and then if we go into my cards i'll give you a quick update so some more were rumble 22 support managers not a big deal i got a fortified sensational sherry which is not amazing or whatever i'm still looking for those royal rumble 20 sorry the road to wrestlemania support cards which i am missing other than that i don't think actually my deck has changed much of all much at all since the last episode i mean i got a couple more road to wrestlemania cards actually a bunch more i was able to get all these four at the bottom here you can see kofi kingston kaylee ray indy hartwell and odyssey jones and then we also got a guitar support which i think i got that last episode with you guys as well by opening was that ep last episode or two episodes ago by opening the big ticket pack or something i don't know i don't remember but anyway i got this from a ticket pack <laughs> and i'm at the point now where Road to WrestleManias have filled out the bottom of my mail deck now. You see, we got KO, uh, Rob Van Dam, and Pete Dunn. So I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna keep leveling them up as I get them now. I'm just gonna kind of level them up as I need them for pros and stuff. Fortunately, no other pros since last time, although I did get another Sami Zayn from, once again, from the exclusive draft. Uh, was it the exclusive draft pick board? Draft board pick. Why did I keep? Oh, oh, I don't know why I keep saying the reverse. Anyway, I got another Sami Zayn, so I have a fortified Sami Zayn now. So he's my top card now over Angelo Dawkins. But that's going to end pretty soon when I get this Ricochet Pro. Other than that, in females, I was able to pro my Maurice now, so that's great. I don't know if I showed you guys this Molly Holly as well that I proed, uh, but I'm starting to get out all those valhalla pro women and just uh populating with royal rumble 22 and row 2 wrestlemania cards and that's about it for my deck guys we will get into this quest pretty soon i have been still collecting cars here i'm at 10 out of 15 although in like midweek last week i was not playing very much so i was not able to get many cars uh in between there but now that we got an event started i'm going to be playing a lot more and i've already I think I have one going right now, do I? Yeah, I do. Uh, I have a car being made right now. So that's number 11 coming. And uh, I'm definitely gonna get either Shawn Michaels or Bianca Belair. I'm gonna hold off on which I get though, when we, cause I will show you what happens in the quest rewards. Uh, but we'll we'll get to that in a bit. Let's do some ring domination first before my bouts fill up here. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't preview it. Sorry, I'll do that a bit after, but I am on the second card now in my, uh, in my ring domination. Today is Friday morning so it just started last night i was able to finish one the first card all last night which was awesome and even get a little bit into into the road to wrestlemania card here and as you can see i'm slightly boosting it's just because like every everyone does everyone boosts or at least everyone i face is boosting in ring domination so if i don't do this it's just impossible to win so i am kind of forced to by everyone else doing it as well but we'll see what happens in this match here i don't think i will have a problem beating this guy it looks like he's actually one of the few that did not boost uh based on his deck so far and you can see there's the first ricochet i got from road to glory last week boom and there goes montez ford so if he attacks montez ford right now and loses then i can get a perfect victory right now let's see what happens though no he did not okay that's fine that is fine. We will take a 7-2 victory. Okay. And as you can see, the Road to WrestleMania card here is a Robert Roode. So unfortunately not a pro, but another Road to WrestleMania card nonetheless. And we got a shard there and we pulled a Royal Rumble 22 card, which will be dusted, unfortunately. But still a nice pull there and a new card. I never had, I've never had Julius Creed before, but there we go. 785 to the dust meter. Maybe we'll get a dust card here or exclusive draft board pick not draft pick board <laughs> so as you can see yeah, i completed the first royal rumble 22 card which was Rey mysterio and i dusted that didn't need it but that was pretty quick the next one here as you can see is going to be robert rude a road to wrestlemania card which like i said is not a pro but still a great card nonetheless or actually probably not a great card but a good card i should say and then at the bottom here we know that's going to be a ricochet pro event card so that'll be awesome to pro up this week it will be my top card as i mentioned and yeah like i've always said I, I like ring domination it's definitely not one of the ones where you can just kind of like shut your mind off and and go on autopilot to play it but 
it's still like a fun mode to play like there's some strategy to it it's like fun game mode to try to like outmaneuver your opponent and uh, and kind of play like a chess you have that you have to have like kind of like a chess mentality almost to it to like kind of bait your opponent and and trap them and things like that so i think it's a pretty fun mode and i am going to use my super move i'm going to overkill this guy i'm going to use my super move on my pro angelo dawkins on this not level up maelstrom randy savage here just because i'm trying to get my super moves uh out of the way for the quest which we will look at in a second although i do have all right arrows now which might be an issue but it, it should be fine i'm gonna win either way okay, i'm gonna have to face this brock but i don't mind <clears throat> because i'm actually gonna beat this brock and because i have the victory either way let's see if we can pull one more shard here oh we could get a gas can though that's good oh nice another shard let's go oh did i just finish one of the uh, i think i just finished one of the quest things okay perfect so that's fun we can look at that together so if we take a look at the quest here so it's called on the road again so completion of all the challenges in the quest gets you a pick of your tier or sorry a random card of your tier um in this case if you are in road to wrestlemania you'll get a pick of your tier but one of the special edition either Shawn michaels or bianca belair which is a, actually a pretty good reward i did not expect to just get one automatically from doing this i thought maybe there would be like a pack with one and a chance to get another one i didn't think they'd just give one away but this is awesome so now i can kind of spend my cars a little more strategically because if i get another bianca belair here then i can just easily go for Shawn michaels and if i get a Shawn michaels here i know i'm going to get a bianca belair so i can kind of uh a strategic i don't want to i don't want to spend my 15 cars until i kind of know and then there's another quest in about a week once this one ends which i believe is going to be this similar thing and you're going to get another one so i might even hold out my cars till then so say if I, if I get like three bianca bellers for some reason then um then i can just kind of decide what i'm going to do from there but anyway so that's the reward if you're road to wrestlemania plus plus and then underneath that you'll have uh, all the other tiers and then in those you'll probably just get a tier pull so a royal rumble 22 uh, random Royal Rumble 22 card, random Bahala card, random Maelstrom card, you know what I mean? But then to do all these challenges, so the first one at the bottom here was get reset. Uh, so that was reset the draft board 60 times, which I've done. And as you can see here, you just get a bunch of gear to, to do the fusion chamber, which is actually pretty helpful because they are kind of hard to pull and, and to be constantly doing that. Uh, and then right after that, you got PVP wins. So you got to do 50 of those, which once again, not that hard if you play PvP regularly. You'll just go through it. And you, like I said, you have, I don't think... It, yeah, I did say this. You do ha you have a week to do it. Or you did have a week from when it started. So doing 50 in a week is not... It's not that big of a deal. And then I, right after that, you win a match using specific superstar cards. So Bianca Belair, which once again, you'll get these... Uh, the car pieces. Um, so this is a little bit tougher. Especially if you don't have a Bianca Belair card. Because you can't just pull a maelstrom or, or sorry you can't just pull a nightmare or a primal or even i don't even think a vanguard off the draft board because she doesn't have any of those cards the lowest card she has is a wrestlemania 36 so you got to kind of get lucky and try to pull her so that's probably where it gets tough um i got lucky or i guess they're trying to convince people to spend their cars in the in the shop and try to get these superstars so i guess if you get a bianca from the store then you can use it to to do this to do this uh to do this challenge i got lucky like i said because i have a bianca belair already from from this event um the special edition one but i got it from one of those packs in the stores so i was lucky so i'm just able to put this in my war deck she's in my top eight war deck anyway i'll show it off here so i just play war and i make sure to use bianca belair every time and then you can see i'm progressing pretty steadily between both of them so there you got to do 50 pvp matches and 40 bianca belair matches and the, but you have to also win the, that game do you have to win the entire game or just the match with Bianca Belair? That's yet to be seen. But I believe it's just the match with Bianca Belair. You have to win with Bianca Belair. So that's a little bit tough if you don't have a Bianca Belair card. So if you do have enough cards, I would recommend getting that Bianca Belair. I would bet money on the next quest, the one that happens a week from now, right after this one ends. It's going to say win a specific match using a specific superstar card. And it'll be Shawn Michaels. And I will bet money on that because... 
they, that's just this is what it's gonna happen right it's obvious but what i did on purpose is i just looked through my deck and i had a sean michaels maelstrom so i just lock that just in case i don't have a sean michaels uh the special edition sean michaels card so i at least i'm safe so i have something so i can actually do it if i have to but hopefully i'll get a sean michaels by then and then i'll be able to use my better sean michaels to go through and, and make that a little bit easier but then right after that you use your uh yeah you can get card parts for that i think i mentioned that and then right after that you use your super move 15 times so that's why I wasted my super move in that road uh, ring domination event. I'm just trying to get through the super move one. And this is actually probably, other than getting your tier pull, this is the best pack you can probably get. So you have three chance, chances at a random card pull from Biomechanical up to Road to WrestleMania. And this is for any tier. And then you also have a bonus chance to get a Bianca Belair card. So this is actually the pack that I got from the store. That was, I think, 750 credits. And this is where I pulled my Bianca Belair. So you have a 15% chance to get that bonus Bianca Belair. So there's a pretty good chance that you might actually get one. So the, um, I'm hopeful for this one. I, I have three more super moves and I'll maybe be able to get a, another Bianca Belair here. And then hopefully from this, I'll get a Shawn Michaels. I just need one more. Uh, when I got my 15 cards, I'll get a second Shawn Michaels and then everything from there. All the other special edition cards I get from there are just gonna be fortified and make these cards even stronger. Both of these cards are going to be pretty strong in my, I think. Uh, uh, especially this Bianca Belair card going to be my only road to WrestleMania pro. So that's going to be a big help to my deck. And then the Shawn Michaels is going to be a special edition road to WrestleMania pro as well, uh, because I'm pretty sure I'll get a pro of him. Uh, and then he'll tag perfectly with Ricochet as well. So that's awesome because Ricochet is a down arrow and this Shawn Michaels, as you can see, is an up arrow. So that's about it for the quest guys. So work hard at that. I think by the time this video comes up, there's only going to be like two or three days left so so if you're if you're struggling to get through it i'd recommend pushing pretty hard to get it but yeah that's about it going in supercard guys let's go let's go through another ring domination here see if i can snag one more shard before we head out i think did i pull a pick doubler a second ago i don't think i did but i might have no i don't think i did because yeah i don't know if it's just me or if everyone else is experiences experiencing this as well but it seems like you can't pull pick doublers off the ring domination draft board like like off the shard board where, where you're trying to get the shards for the superstar it doesn't seem like you can pick the pick doublers at least i haven't got one i don't think of the last ring domination or this one either so i don't know why they changed that maybe people were progressing a little bit too fast and they're trying to slow them down a bit but you know what it's not a big deal like ring domination is super easy and like like i said i already have one of the cards and i still have three days or i have one and a couple shards of another card and i still have uh three days left over three days left so <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna have a problem getting that like i don't want to say this but i'll say it anyway i think there's a chance it, depending on how fast i get the rest of these cards i think there's a chance i'll get the heroic i don't know i just kind of threw that out there but if i can if i can get it without spending credits and without working like in overly hard then you know what maybe i'll maybe i'll go for it uh here we got another victory here uh but yeah maybe i'll go for it i might as well if it's not gonna cost me any credits then then maybe i'll do it especially since ring domination and i don't mind ring domination like i said and there is a nice 8-1 victory let's see if we can snag one more shard before we head out here that is a no from me, dog. All right, guys, so plenty more coming soon. I'm going to hopefully get that Bianca Belair card and maybe a Shawn Michaels card as well. Uh, I'll show those off to you in the next video, absolutely. And I'll see, tell you guys what I got from my quest reward as well. And then on top of that, I'll show off my pro ring domination event card ricochet in the next episode. We'll see in the next episode if I get a heroic or not, but... We'll see what happens. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. Also, right underneath me here, there is a subscribe button. If you guys want to click that to get notified whenever I release videos so you do not miss one. But over on the right, we got some more videos if you guys want to keep watching. Thanks so much, guys.